And some sad news to share with all of you tonight. A member of the Channel 3 News family has passed away. Darren Perrin looks back on the life of the beloved Judy Simpson. Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 4th. Judy Simpson simply made mornings better. Really could use some sun. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> we woke up to her familiar face, warm welcomes, and clever conversations for years. So I've got my thesaurus. <laughs> so I'm going to look up rain to find some different words yeah, we can okay. use. What are we going to find? Drencher, deluge, flood, no, cloudburst, torrent, shower. Judy joined WCAX in 1997 as a reporter and in 2000 became the Channel 3 News morning anchor. And because it's Monday, let's celebrate. <laughs> wow. Now you're up, right, Judy? Uh, it's a little it's frightening. Going. Alongside her work husband, meteorologist Gary Sadowski. Let's get the latest with Gary. Why? Just happened to slide in here. <laughs> and Judy became the trusted friend who kept us informed. She took the job seriously, but boy, did that lady love to joke, too. <laughs> You just never know what you're going to see on Skywatch 3. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Her quick wit, dry humor, and friendly ribbing... Never get better maple syrup than Vermont maple syrup. Mm, you don't mind if we use this in a commercial, do you? <laughs> made us all fall in love. Parachute keeps a pretty tight schedule. But Judy was also a trailblazer. Before joining us at Channel 3, she was the state's first woman news director. Third annual Vermont Business and Industry Exposition is well underway. Working for WVNY. She started there in 1985. Happy if we had weather like this for the rest of the summer. We were lucky she made the move to become part of our team. While community support is critical for military families during deployment, it is even more important when the soldier returns home and in the months that follow. Her glass ceiling breaking career, divine storytelling, dedication to Vermont News and the people who live here got her a proclamation from Governor Phil Scott, won her many awards, including the Vermont Association of Broadcasters Distinguished Service Award for her commitment to journalism. And in 2017, Judy was inducted into the VAB Hall of Fame. Judy retired from Channel 3 News in 2017, but kept her gig as host of Across the Fence for more than a year longer. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Judy Simpson. We hated to see her go in 2018, but we were thrilled that she and her husband, Phil, who also worked in sales at WCAX, got the chance to chill at their new home in Florida. The pair loved parenting their two kids and grandparenting their three grandbabies. That was Judy's new job. At 64 years old, the wife mom, grandmom, and true Vermont journalist lost her battle with melanoma. But before she left us, she won all of our hearts. Rest in peace, sweet friend.